Good morning, Hot Tots. Welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a normal what I eat in a day instead of a meal prep Monday, just because I'm trying to get rid of the things that I still have in my freezer and refrigerator that are going to go bad, that I know have been in there a while and all that. So I'm trying to like clear that all out this week, stay on point, And then next week we'll still do a meal prep Monday. I had such a good week, um, but I did go off plan from Wednesday until today, which today is Sunday. And that's okay with me. I haven't been weighing myself anyways, and I'm not going to weigh myself. I think I'm going to do for the whole month of December, I'm going to challenge myself to work out every day, eat on point every day, not drink any alcohol, and just do my best to lose as much as I can or just feel as good as I can um, by December 30th because if things stay open and allowed. Um, I am going to Cancun to an adults only all inclusive resort with one of my girlfriends, Megan on December 30th through January 6th. So we're going for like new year's. She's had a tough year. Um, on top of all of the COVID stuff and everything like that, it's been a really hard year on her. And we just wanted to do something really fun for new year's. The resort is at less than 50% capacity because of COVID and they have all these rules and regulations. So I do feel very safe going there. Um, travel, of course, as anything is a little nerve wracking, but I'm excited. It's something I want to work hard towards. So I'm trying to work out every day for 30 days, eat on point for 30 days and not drink alcohol for 30 days. So anyways, that's that. Now let's go make some breakfast. <laughs> So for breakfast this morning, I'm going to have two of the Kid Fresh home style waffles. They are two points a piece. Um, I'll put up on the screen the calories and everything. So I think I'm going to have two of these and maybe something else. We'll have to see. But these are my fave. Okay, so I'm having two of the waffles. I sprayed a little bit of the zero point. I can't believe it's not butter. Use some Walden Farms pancake syrup a little bit of fat-free ready whip, and I'm going to have some grapes on the side that I just washed and a Diet Coke. This actually has no caffeine in it. My mom gave me a bunch of them. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be breakfast. Okay, so for lunch, I'm just gonna cook all of these up. I've had them in my freezer forever. They're called pierogies, or the mini pierogies, potato, onion, mini pierogies, and it comes with its own sauce, which I have sitting in warm water right here. So it looks like for 10 pierogies, it's eight points and 250 calories. So we'll see how many I want. Um, and it just says to put the sauce pack in a bowl of warm water for three minutes, then place frozen dumplings into 10 to 12 inch nonstick skillet and add some water, then open the sauce packet and stir it all together. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would just make them all and then put them in a container for the week. And I'll see how many I want to eat today, but they look really good and really cute. They're about this big on my hand. And I'm excited. I love pierogies. Okay, so I have the pierogies in here, like it said, with two-thirds cups of water. And then it says add the semi-thawed sauce to this. By the way, I got these pierogies at Kroger, just in the frozen section. I'm sure you can find them at a lot of different places. And I'm just going to try to stir this up to the best of my ability. <laughs> so it says to put a top on it for nine to 11 minutes. I don't have a top. So I'm trying to find a pan that fits it the best to cover it. <laughs> so that's gonna be my top. <laughs> And I'll let it sit on high for nine to 11 minutes. And then it says just stir occasionally until it's done. So there it goes. Again, this is the Simple Truth brand. Um, and I got these from Kroger and they looked really good. So I'm excited. So this is what they're looking like. They are looking so good, so delicious. So I cannot wait to eat some of these. I may have more than 10, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, here they are. And I actually did 15 of them, um, which is 12 points. So this is what they look like. And now let's do a taste test 
12 points and I believe 375 calories. Um, I'm excited. These look so good. I added some salt and pepper and a little bit of parsley just for <laughs> dramatic effect. Yum. Okay, let's try it. You could add more veggies to this. You could add spinach, more spinach, but of course I have nothing in my fridge right now. They're good. Sour cream. It would taste so good on this. Definitely needed a little salt, but I'm digging them. I'm into it. Mm -mm. Gonna finish up my caffeine free Diet Coke that my mom gave me, and I'm drinking a water out of my Sophie cup that I got from a, my sister's bachelorette party a while ago. See you later. And now for dinner, yet another thing from the freezer. I'm going to make this it has shrimp, bay scallops, and white fish seasoned with chicken chorizo, and it looks phenomenal. And guess what? I may add corn. <laughs> Ready in minutes serves two. So when I looked on the back, it says there's two servings per container, um, and it's 260 calories per serving, 530 per container. Um, so I'm going to see how much this cooks up to be, but it's six points, I believe, for one cup. So I might just eat the whole thing, but it looks pretty big, so we'll have to see. The instructions, so I'm going to do a skillet. Um, Preheat large skillet, add some vegetable oil, add the rice. Okay, not too hard. All right, let's cook this up, people. Okay, so it looks like inside this bag, so this is just the shrimp and scallops, and then the other bag holds the rice with the veggies, and then there's the powder stuff right here. So I'm gonna heat up my skillet, and it says, to add a little vegetable oil and then add the rice, vegetables, chorizo, seafood. I mean, add everything apparently with a fourth a cup of water and cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes. So that sounds pretty easy. Okay. Put that in there. So let's put everything. I like to push the rice down on frozen things to make it all come together. So you can see there's little like chorizo beads in here. So I'm excited. I think this is gonna taste really good. And then the seasoning packet. Super simple. I'm a simple gal. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up and then put our makeshift lid on it. <laughs> Which for Christmas, you guys, I did ask for pots and pans. So <laughs> don't worry, hopefully I'll be getting good ones here soon. All right, it says to add a little bit of water. I forgot to do, so I'll just add a teeny bit of water in there. And again, it's this um, Aquastar combination. Shrimp, bay scallops, white fish, seasoned with chicken chorizo. Smells amazing. Gluten-free, low in fat, excellent source of protein. Okay, so I personally also wanna add just a cup of corn and I'm gonna weigh it out since I portion it out since you know I'm now on the green plan so I'm gonna mix that in okay right. so I turned off my burner and I'm gonna split this into two portions just trying to even it out and then <laughs> I'll just cut it right down the middle. 
Oliver is like swarming underneath my legs because he knows there's shrimp involved as always. All right, that's a decent amount of food. That's a good bowl right there. And that is only six points on the green plan. I'll put up on the screen if any of the other points are different. And then I have to add, I think it's two or three points worth of corn for half a cup since I did a full cup in here. But yeah. Again, I've never had this before, so I'm really excited to try it. So let's dig in. Mmm. I'm gonna try the fish. It's really good. I'm not usually a huge chorizo person, but this chorizo is really good. The corn just takes it to another level. What is he doing? He is so funny. He is the silliest cat. I found this at my Walmart and I now have like lunch or dinner for tomorrow too. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a true review of that food I just had. Um, so I was eating it in the first like five or six bites. I'm like, oh, I like this. I like this. And then as I got about halfway done, I was like, eh, I'm kind of over it. So I probably wouldn't buy it again. If you like chorizo and that type of spice, that type of taste, you would like it. I just personally am not someone who's into chorizo and like that taste. And I think that's what did it in for me that I was like, eh. But I ate it, it was good enough. I'll eat it tomorrow because I don't want it to go to waste. Um, but I will say I have six points left for dessert and I'm not sure how many calories this is. I'll kind of guesstimate based off of what, how people usually make this dessert. But I'm going to be eating a dessert that came from Thanksgiving and I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so for dessert, I'm having one serving of this Oreo pudding from Thanksgiving. It's literally so good. It has some Oreos in it, um, but it serves 12 and I have about a little over one serving in here. So when I put it in the tracker, it's like 206 calories and I'm just going to put it as the rest of my points as there's not really a points thing for this that I can find. So I'm just putting it as the rest of my points for six points because I know usually these things are higher points, even if they're only 206 calories, but it is my favorite dessert that we get at Thanksgiving. It's Oreo cookies, pudding, whipped cream. I think cream cheese and butter is in it too. And oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm going to eat this and that's going to be the end of my points. I'm definitely going to try to find an easier, like a lower calorie way to make it or just divvy it up into more servings and make a bunch because it is the best couple things before i end this video one i will link this cute pajama set down below it's um from this boutique with these two girls that i went to high school with uh, i love their stuff and i know i'll get questions on it it's so cute they're so comfortable she has tons of different kinds i love them so that's one thing two i had 1118 calories today now granted i did no physical activity and i ate, ate a ton of calories wednesday through saturday so someone in a previous video said that they had concerns about eating such low calories and even 1200 calories isn't enough and yada yada. So if any of you aren't on Weight Watchers, then you wouldn't know that you have additional weekly points. So my calories on the green plan can, can fluctuate anywhere from 1100 to 13 to 1400 calories a day, depending on what I eat that day. Um, and then you get 42 extra weekly points and I use them in a treat meal or a treat day at the end of the week. Now I used to post treat days, but a lot of times people weren't watching those videos or they didn't seem as interested, which I'm sure it's like triggers for people because they're just watching you eat great food and they may not have treat their, their weeklies left. And then also I feel like people come to my channel more for entertainment and also just to see what I'm eating on the days that I'm keeping good track of my points and I'm staying on point for that day. So just to let you guys know, yes, I eat about, like I've only had 1,118 calories today, but I'm not hungry. If I were hungry, I would eat more because I know that I'm not at a really high calorie amount, but I ate so much this past week and I am not hungry at all. Um, and also I do eat my weeklies every week. Um, and then sometimes even into my fit points, if I have fit points that week. So 
that's what you have to understand if you're not on Weight Watchers and you don't understand how it works. You get fit points and weeklies, and I usually eat all of my weeklies and sometimes some of my fit points. The weeklies are just to even out your whole rest of your week. You can eat them throughout the week, or you can be like me and wait and put them on a day like a Friday or Saturday where I like to drink or get dinner with my girlfriends and I call it a wash because I know there's tons of butter on all the stuff I'm eating. I'm eating bread, biscuits, this, this and that. I don't usually track my weeklies. I just have one big like treat meal with a snack or something or treat meal and dessert. And that's, I just call it a wash. But when you actually track it, then over the week, I then am eating on the green plan at least from 1400 to 1600 calories a day, sometimes less like 13 to 1600 a day. If you were to divvy it out, um, once I eat my weeklies. So just to keep that in mind, um, when you see these day to days, those are not with my weekly points being added. Some weeks I don't eat my weeklies cause I'm not hungry and I don't want to, but so most weeks I do. So just keep that in mind that, Although on the day I could be eating 1200 calories or 1300 calories and to some people that seems too much of a deficit, they're not there and you don't, you're not seeing me eat my treat meal um, day where those extra calories, I eat like almost 2000 calories in one meal. And then if you divvy that up between the rest of the week, I'm now at more of a healthy caloric intake per day. So I just wanted to explain that out because I know that some people on here aren't on Weight Watchers. They may be just doing calories or just watch me for fun, which thank you. But I wanted to make sure to point that out. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Ollie says goodbye. Subscribe if you haven't because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and sometimes on a random other day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.